Good morning, my name is Margaret Motley. On behalf of all the board members of the Polk County Historical Foundation, thanks to the Oregon California Trail Association for visiting Pottsville, Arkansas, and the beautiful Kurt Bride Potts home. We're excited to tell our story about the history and restoration of this structure. In 1828, eight years before Arkansas statehood, Kurt Bride Potts and his bride Pamelia settled on Gala Creek on the old military road about a mile from this location. They built a two-story log home and 11 children were born to them in the more than 30 years they lived there. Letters from Kurt Bride Potts says he has no neighbors in 10 miles either direction. Arkansas was still a wilderness. Its location halfway between the capital city of Little Rock and Fort Smith made it an ideal stopping point for travelers. In 1848, Kurt Bride writes to his sister in New Jersey and requests she send him house plans with his large family and almost daily visitors, especially during the legislative session. The current home is not large enough. During the gold rush, he was a part of the many Americans that traveled to California. According to his daughter Sarah, in an 1849 letter to her aunt in New Jersey, her father was doing very well merchandising in the Sacramento area. He was back in Arkansas in 1852 and soon began construction of the new home. Trees from the Potts land were used to make the huge beams that support the house. Clay was taken from nearby Gala Creek to make bricks for the five chimneys and well house. Windows, fireplace, mantles, and Postmaster Kurt Bride's Potts custom ordered mail desk were shipped from New Orleans and are still in the home today. The house was completed in 1858, coinciding with the first Butterfield Overland Mail stagecoach run in September of that year. Three generations of the Potts family lived in the home. Kurt Bride, Pamelia, and their family, then their son, James and wife, Ada, and their family, and then James and Ada's daughter, Mary Potts, who never married, and her sister-in-law, Faye Potts, and her children. Photos show changes in both exterior and interior during, during those years. Picket fence, split rail fence, shutters, no shutters, many interior changes. The Potts family smokehouse still stands today, which was built from logs from the first house. The story is handed down, handed down from the family that Pamelia said there was so much love in those logs, she wanted to bring them to the new home. The original well house with its unique refrigeration system stands between the house and Ash Street, which was the old military road. Mary and Faye Potts were the only two family members left living in the home in 1957 when Arkansas formed the Centennial Committee to celebrate 100 years since the first running of the Butterfield Overland Stagecoach. W.J. Lemke, professor at the University of Arkansas, and Ted R. Worley, Arkansas History Commission, headed up the Arkansas Centennial Committee. They published a centennial booklet about the stage stops of the Butterfield Overland Mail in Arkansas, and a photo of the Potts home was featured in the booklet. The centennial was held in the fall of 1858. Potts Inn was featured as a home station stage stop and a bronze plaque was placed on the northeast exterior chimney. A four cent stamp was also issued as a part of the nationwide celebration. Protecting, preserving, and restoration of our historical treasures is never achieved by a single person, but often a single person leads the way. For the Potts home, this person was Marge Crayball of Russellville. Newspaper articles in the middle 1960s talked about local interest in restoring the old home. Marge led the effort to purchase the home from the Potts family members. It was added to the National Historic Register in 1970. Then became two years of restoration. Governor Winthrop Rockefeller recognized the historical importance of the house and requested a team of historical register, reg, restoration experts from Williamsburg, Virginia to come to Pottsville and offer their advice. A local architect, Bill Saxton, donated time 
to monitor the progress and ensure it was historically correct. Marge, on the other hand, was always promoting, always fundraising, obtaining grants, moving toward an opening day for the museum. That happened on June 1st, 1973. Without this dynamic community personality, the Potts Inn would not exist today. What a huge debt we owe to her. The city of Pottsville maintains the grounds and is always available to help with any project. Thank you, Mayor Tankersley and the city council for this mural of the Potts Inn. The Pottsville Police Badge features a photo of the Potts Inn. The Pottsville Junior High history stories dress in clothing from the era and tell stories each year at the Butterfield Day celebration on the third Saturday of September and also in the spring for the Pottsville Elementary students at Founders Day. There are many descendants of the Potts family both locally and across this country that are extremely interested in preserving this magnificent home and new displays are now in the planning process with their assistance. Kurt Bride has descendants still living in Pottsville. In fact, his great-great-grandson, David Potts, works for the city and mows the same lawn that he did for his grandmother, Faye Potts, when he was a kid. With the recent designation of the Butterfield Overland Mail as a National Historic Trail by Arkansas Senator John Bozeman, this spot will be even more special. Efforts are now underway to form a chapter of local Arkansas historians to represent each of the stage stops in Arkansas. Thank you, Senator Bozeman, for your years of effort getting this legislation passed. Thank you for your time.